Hey guys, thanks for joining us. My name's Veronica. And my name's Rachel, and welcome, welcome to, to Sleeptopia! Today, we are going to be discussing the Alice Night One device, which is another one of the Sleeptopia home sleep devices. So this is just a small device that'll sit on your sternum, and then you have a belt holding it in place that will measure the effort you're putting into your breathing. Then there is an SpO2 probe that will monitor your oxygen levels in your blood through the night. This device will just be placed on the tip of your finger. And finally, there's the nasal cannula. There's nothing coming out of the cannula. It's just simply measuring your breathing and snoring. Now, we're gonna show you how to put the device on. The first thing you'll want to do is open up the case. Next, take everything out of the box. Then you'll want to open the nasal cannula packaging because we use sterilized and fresh ones every time. Connect the nasal cannula to the Alice device like this. You'll want to use a twisting motion. Now you're going to want to adjust the belt so it fits properly around your sternum. There is an adjuster right on the belt. You'll just flip this piece open and adjust to your preference. Next, you are going to take one end of the chest belt and click it on one end of the Alice device, just like a seat belt. After that, you are going to wrap the rest of the chest belt to yourself so it can click on to the other end of the device. Once you successfully connect both ends of the chest belt to your home sleep study, you'll notice a green light. This is how you know the device is on. You'll notice that there is an SpO2 monitor attached to the device. Simply insert your index finger into the probe. You can also use medical tape on the back of your hand to keep the SpO2 probe in place while you sleep. Finally, take your nasal cannula and insert it into your nose and loop it around your ear. After you successfully attach everything, you'll notice three green lights. This means that your nasal cannula, chest belt, and the SpO2 monitor have been properly attached. After about a couple minutes, all the lights will turn off. If you notice one of the lights flashing yellow, that means something needs to be adjusted. Adjust accordingly. Do not press this button in the middle to ensure that there is enough good test data. Now you are ready to go to sleep. Please make sure to wear the device all night. In the morning, detach the chest belt, throw the nasal cannula away, and put everything else back in the box. Your sleep specialist has designated a time for you to either drop the device off at our office or have one of our technicians come to your house and pick it up. If you are mailing back the device, simply just use the mail back sticker that we provided for you. If you have more questions, regarding the mailback sticker, please contact our office. All right guys, thanks for joining us today. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up down below. Leave us a comment if you do have any more questions. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Welcome to the Sleeptopia family, and we'll, we'll see you next time.